So, you want to make a burning sun animation. Well, first thing you gotta do is take a rocket ship to the sun and bring matches. Hey guys, welcome back, that's my Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender 2.81. Eevee, once again, taking a look, you guessed it, at a burning sun animation. And I made this little, little bitty thing uh, off camera here, and I kind of want to break it down a little bit. Um, and go step by step. So my animation is 170 frames in total. I chopped it off at 170 and it starts at zero um, Right there. So if I play this you can see this is what it does pretty much. Oh Yeah, oh, yeah, so it's kind of like a I don't even know what to call it really. I, so I call it burning sun. It looks kind of cool, right? So it has these these little things that kind of come out and you know the sun looks like it's either forming or if you play backwards it kind of looks like uh, kind of looks like this, which is pretty sweet as well. So either one really looks uh, pretty cool. So that's what we're gonna be doing. It's just three nodes, literally just three nodes. Uh, first is an emission node, which let me just recreate this down here. So Shift D to duplicate that. Um, it's an emission node, which is Shift A, search, emission, and then we just put that right there. Uh, and then I just hooked hooked up a color ramp into put that into the surface and then a color ramp which is shift a search uh, ramp color ramp and I just plug that into the color of the emission the color into the color of the emission uh, and then the last thing is a wave texture so shift a search wave and then there we go right there plug the color into the color ramp now this is where all the cool stuff happens so I changed some stuff on the wave texture I changed the scale to 2 I changed the distortion to 8.3 the detail to 16 and the detail scale to 2 so at this point this is what we should have that's what it should look like um which is pretty cool looking but that's not what i'm going for so i'm going to change this up even more by going ahead and changing the color ramps value from linear to constant you could actually leave this on on ease let me see what this looks like this might be pretty cool actually so we'll do that instead we'll leave it on ease and what i did up here is kind of weird so if i play the animation you can see these two orange lines kind of come out of nowhere here and what I did was I pretty much just used the black values and the orange values to kind of cancel each other out. So you'll see like the further I push this to the black over there, you see it gets thinner and less like faded and gradient. So that's kind of what I was going for. If you hit the plus button, you can add in another color. So I'm going to add in a orange color, bright, bright orange color, something like uh, something like that. You know what I'll do? I'll do blue for this instead of orange because you guys saw the orange already. Um, and then I'll change this white one to also black. So that'll be black as well. And then I'll kind of push that right here and then pull this one about right there as well. And then I'll, uh, with this black one selected, I'll hit plus again. So to add another blue one and then, oop, and then I'll pull it over here, maybe brighten it or eh, maybe I'll darken this one a little bit. The ease is looking kind of cool as well. Ooh. Um, but the next thing we got to do is turn the strength up from a 1 to yes, 100 is what I did. Uh, now, that may be a little bright for the white, for the blue, but uh, what is this like on constant? That looks more like what I had uh, before. So, yeah, if you want to go for that, go for constant. I do want to see what this linear, ooh, yeah, linear looks better. All right, cool. So, um, what I did was I just animated it. So, I put the blue right here, but you see, this, this, this isn't going to work with linear because it has to be on constant. So, let me just put it on constant real quick. Um... I took the these little lines here if I zoom in took the blue lines and I animated them so on the first frame I had this first blue keyframe and hovered my cursor over top of the, the color uh, sorry the the position hit I and then move to about frame 50 and then pulled that position backwards all the way hover my cursor over per, uh, position and then hit I on uh, the same thing with this blue one right here which I'm also gonna bump the color up of uh, like all the way um, and then I did this on frame 20, so I staggered them, offset, I believe, uh, and then position, hover your cursor, hit I, and then we move to frame maybe 80, and then we pull it back to just before the black line so that it's not flipping weird like that. I don't want that. It has to be like that. Cool. Then I hover my cursor over top of the position, hit I, now we have four keyframes. Uh, if we play this, you can see that now the lines come out of seemingly nowhere which is awesome and uh, but you can see at the start of the animation we have all these lines here so we can fix that by going to frame 30 and hitting strength uh, hover cursor hit I and then go to the first frame all the way back to that one strength zero 
and then hover our cursor hit i now you can see that when we play this the emission values uh kind of bump up as they go and the lines come out which looks awesome now you can see when this second line forms it kind of pops in right there you see that this is, these smaller lines are kind of popping in which doesn't look the best see that um and i don't like that so what we're going to do to fix that is we're going to go to frame 20 for this keyframe right here and just pull it up just a little bit just so it doesn't pop so 0.995 looks pretty good hover my cursor hit i there we go all right now if i play this you can see we have pretty much what i had before just in blue um and also uh yeah that's actually it Th that's all that there was that's all that's all it was um but i do like you can change these colors up uh you can do some really cool things now at the end of this animation you can see that there's still blue lines left uh if you want to get rid of that like i did um then you can go from frame maybe 70 we'll change the black color here to not black um and we would do that by just pulling the color up so i'll hover my cursor over top of the color with the black line selected here uh then hit i and then move to frame 100 and this just, just very slightly just pull my color up and now you can't see this one because this one you can't really see it but just in case uh now what you're gonna see hover our cursor over hit i on 100 now what you're gonna see the most is this black one right here did you forget about that one um that's what that's what these lines are so once again on frame 80 i frame 100 uh pull it up a little bit there you go just a little bit not so much that it starts making weirdness like that just enough so it's not solid black about right there looks good hover our cursor hit i now when we play this you can see that we have an animation that comes out of nowhere fades properly and then the lines disappear super cool stuff i really enjoy this animation and we can uh, hook this one back up up here and you can see it's the same exact thing just in different colors uh very very cool stuff and you can also let me see what is this uh what does this linear look like if i use that oh that might look pretty cool oh yeah that looks really awesome it looks really awesome but anyway that is going to be it for today's tutorial hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it if you did make sure to let me know down below as always what you want to see next uh, and just cool stuff in general if you made something I always love seeing it. Thank you so much for watching I'll see you in the next one, but until then Bye-bye